Um, so let's go ahead and get started. First, you got the Ten of Cups upright. And this tells me that you could have recently united with someone, um, had a marriage, and you're just happy and complete, and you have like this really good relationship going on. Um, and since this is a Ten Cup, and you have other tens in your reading, such as the well, Ten of Swords in reverse, and the Wheel of Fortune, which is the number 10. And then, yeah, we have the world, which just means like a completion, which would be 10 as the number of completions. So it says, you know, you have um, emotional hope, okay? Um, it also talks about, um, since you have the Hermit later on, that you've been victorious about something, like this marriage or this relationship you got what you wanted, like your dreams came true, but it's like a muted victory, okay? It's like not everything you expected it to be. Um, because you have the Six of, of Cups clarifying it immediately after, um, and it's in reverse. So when it's upright, it makes me think, you know, you have the, you had this childlike wonder at this new world that you were having. And here you can see it's like childhood wonder. Look at the world. Look at the rainbow. It's beautiful. Okay. You have like complete bliss here. And then here is a saying, it's childlike wonder. Like everything's wonderful. Okay. But you have it in reverse. So it tells me you did have this, but like, Somehow or another, the victory got muted. Or you thought it was going to be this, and it wasn't exactly as thrilling as you thought. But this reminds you to focus on the fact that we shouldn't live in complete bliss all the time. That's a rare thing. So eventually, things are going to just go back to normal. Okay? You'll go back to a normal life. <laughs> um, that rush, that immediate rush, will dissipate, and that's okay. It's supposed to be that way. So the next part you got is the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. People automatically think, ooh, negative, bad, okay. Um, what this tells me is just that there's some kind of a stagnation. And just, you know, accept the situation for what it is. It's not really bad. It's just it's kind of muted, okay. And not as powerful as you thought. And so just make some positive changes to see if, you know, you might get to be back on top again, okay. I mean, it just might be... Could be an unlucky time, you know, that's possible. Basically, just take some actions. Don't take any risks. Um, but this is going to lead to your love life being dark, okay? Um, if, there's, if there really is some reason why this relationship isn't working out, that could be why there's a turn of fortune. But I really just see this as a muted victory. But this says you need to, like, do some introspection, because you're just kind of out of control, or something's out of control. And so you need to just kind of reflect, go inside yourself, get some solitude. And then to clarify that, three cards fell out. So first is King of Pentacles. Um, you know, there's not a lot of swords in here. I was, I was real surprised, Aquarius. Um, and I don't really see any particular card that represents you. So I'm thinking this is the person that you're in this Ten of Cups relationship with, or that you were, depending on what happened. Um, so with the, it's King, right? Yeah, King of Pentacles. Um, this person is a reliable friend. Um, it came before the world. So it's warning that you're going to miss your path or the goals that come after that, okay? Because the world's over here and it came before it. So this muted victory that you're having, this almost like a self-pity when nothing's actually gone on, it's going to keep you from getting your goals, okay? Uh, you're going to miss your path. And so that's why the Wheel of Fortune is saying do some reflection, get back on the path, okay? Um, and it's funny that you get the Hermit later on, okay? Because that's what the Hermit would tell you to do is get back on the path and reflect, and I mean, there may have been like some infidelity if you thought you were going to have it one way and it turned out to be muted and then you sought 
the affections of someone else. Okay. Um, it talks about you're going to get life experience and it's going to help you with your spiritual knowledge. Um, and just this person appreciates quality and tradition, but the love's not easily won, okay? Um, there needs to be some security here. Um, this person's loyal even though they're possessive, okay? Or you're loyal even though you're possessive. After this King of Pentacles, we got the Ace of Cups in reverse, which tells me to trust your inner, you're not trusting your inner knowing. Like, um, maybe you want a new relationship, but don't do it. It says you're not on the right path. You have this emotional turmoil. Um, you were hoping for an exciting phase with this love. Like, this is what you want, but you're not getting that exciting phase. So you're frustrated. And you may turn to fantasy, like an affair. Because it says you can find love and support in other ways. Or that's what you try. Because you're not getting this love that you want at home. So you're going to change. And it says, you know, it's, it will cause a revolution. Okay? Um, it could be that you have you or somebody else has a false heart. Maybe you found out that, see this king of pentacles is loyal. So if this is you for some reason, it says you're loyal and somebody else was unfaithful, or they're trying to seek faith, um, faithfulness. I thought this was your other partner. And it says they're loyal, maybe you were unfaithful. But let's go to the world, okay? Because it's upright, and that's always a good thing. This talks about completions. And remember, we have these tens and these completions, so it says you have emotional hope. Um, with the world, this tells me that you're going to be free from this oppression. And later on, you have the, uh, where was it? I'll think about it. The Ace of, you have the Ace of Cups. So this says, you know, you want this, you're turning to fantasy because you think there's no emotional hope. Then right after that Ace of Cups, which thinks, you know, you want to go find love elsewhere, the world says with this Ace of Cups, doesn't matter if it's reversed or not, that you're going to have a new emotional satisfaction. Please don't let this new emotional satisfaction be someone else other than the person in your marriage or your committed relationship. Because that's going to take the world and it's going to flip it upside down because it's a dishonest means. So I think you're going to be able to get love from your current relationship or whichever one's represented by this Ten of Cups. Like You have hope for emotional renewal. Maybe you've been in a really stagnant relationship for a long time, represented by the Wheel of Fortune, um, in reverse, and the Ace of Cups in reverse. But you're going to get like a fresh start to your relationship, and I think that's really wonderful. Um, this talks about victory. You're going to like join together. You're going to grow and mature together. Um, you're going to heal if there was something that happened. And this says, you know, you're going to have that climax you wanted that abnormal happiness, okay? Um, this, you know, says the success is anticlimactic. Well, here it's climactic, okay? I mean, it's possible this is a new person, um, but it talks about renewal, okay? So I think it's with the same person. So you aren't getting this emotional renewal, this, you know, awe-inspiring happiness and victory, but then you are going to get it, okay? Um, just seeing if there's anything else I can get from it. Basically just growing and maturing, okay? Um, it could be some cheers, like you graduate, you become whole again. 
I feel like there's a, a completion going on. And then next we have the Ten of Swords in reverse. So this talks about ready to get out of a difficult situation. And you don't see yourself succeeding unless you change, um, unless you work really hard to change your reality. But this tells me there could have been a betrayal, okay, I hear, but it's in the past. Um, you're no longer immobilized by this, you know, muted victory that you were supposed to have. And here we have the past love was really boring and routine. Here it's not, okay? So that's probably what this means. Then we have the moon in reverse. And this tells me there's no deception going on. But you're just unable to change or move on. Or somebody's not. This also talks about the opposite of a dream lover. Okay, there could be... Uh, um, it could be just like release your fear. Okay, purge that fear. You know, you're confused. Just there's no deception going on. If you think somebody was cheating on you and that's why your marriage was kind of boring, that's not what's going on. You need to get rid of that fear. It says that it's an error. Okay. And the reason why this could be unstable and you're feeling this way is because there's something that you need to be dealing with, okay? And I got the Three of Cups upright to clarify the moon. I wasn't even trying to clarify the moon. I was actually trying to clarify this hermit, but I kept saying the moon out loud. So I figured I might as well use it for the moon. And we could also talk to the hermit if we needed to. But with the Three of Cups, this talks about celebration, um, something being alive, a solution to a problem, a good outcome, a healing. Okay. Um, it talks about perfection, solace, being fulfilled, making a pledge to one another. So if there did happen to be a third party at some time, you know, you're healing from it. And you might make another pledge to each other, and that just kind of concludes the matter. It's over. You're having a good time now. Um, everything's forgiven. But it could just be you finally realize that you were just being a little paranoid about something, okay? And that you needed some introspection, which we got the hermit in reverse. This means that you're afraid, you're lonely, um, and just being too cautious and hiding. This says you need to go back to the strength card, which comes before the hermit. You know, just go back and get your strength. And it's funny because we got the strength right after it clarifying it, okay? So whatever happened, you need to be strong. And you you may just be so focused on the truth and it's saying, let it go. You know, don't be fearful of being vulnerable. Don't avoid your problems. You may feel left out in the cold, but I don't really think that's um, playing into this right here. It says it's possible to rekindle the past romance, okay? Um, don't be afraid of being alone, okay? You know, give attention to your partner. Ask about their insight, what they think. Just, you know, see what happens with that. Because this person's off the path. Okay, they may have gone in for some self-reflection and they just kind of hid out and being selfish and just not making wise decisions. They got to know themselves, but they're just staying. <laughs> and they're too scared to come out. Okay, so what you want to do is instead of being afraid of being alone, get out. Um, be vulnerable. Let go whatever truth it is that you were trying to seek that probably isn't even there to begin with. Okay, because there was some paranoia going on here. So live on your own terms. Be selfless. Be of service. You know, he's standing on this mountain cliff area, which represents stability. Okay, so he's stable. This is unstable. Come out, be stable. You know, you got your solitude. You got that. Just be humble. Focus on what matters. And if you did lose something, you're not alone, okay? There's other people. You know, you love your, you're love. you loving yourself. Don't try so hard. Just take that step back. Gain some perspective. And just focus on your connection. 
Stop looking for the truth, okay? So talking about strength, <laughs> um, I said go back to strength and you're going to get it. You're going to be strong. You're going to get that balance back because first you're unstable, then you have balance. So good, yay. Um, so thinking about strength. And it's upright. That's always good. You're going to step up to the situations when other people might quit. It's just like, don't show your fear. Be confident. Um, you know, this relationship has a chance to go the distance. Don't take each other for granted. There's a tendency to do that here. Because um, one is usually more dependent on the other. Um, and one needs them to be dependent on them. So don't be codependent. Just accept somebody for who they are. You're going to master your circumstances. Um, you're going to challenge yourself. Um, there's going to be like agreed upon control issues going on. Because there could be a desire for power, but you guys are going to just be mutually supportive. You know, think beyond your instincts. You know, exercise your self-control. And also this talks about, you know, lusting after each other. So that's a good thing in this case. Because it seems like that may not have been very strong at first. Yeah, this could represent a lack of self-control. And here you're actually going to control it. Like controlling the lust where it's like at a, a reasonable uh, a reasonable level. That's all I'm seeing for that. At least for now. I want to get some further clarification with my favorite deck about if this strength has to do with lust or just self-control. Okay, hold on. Got something. The world upright again. Okay, so this is good. So we know the world, when it comes with the... Um, it comes with something. What was it? Yeah, the Ace of Cups. Yeah, you're going to have that emotional renewal. Okay, so if somebody was emotionally unfaithful, it's going to be renewed. And I like that it's upright because it just means... Basically, you're just going to grow and mature and heal. You're going to join together. Like you're going to have like a trophy, like a victory. You're going to have laurels. People are going to congratulate you. It could be you're getting married. Like maybe you thought you were going to get married and then something happened. Let's clarify these, um, this Ten of Swords in reverse. Well, justice. Okay. So with justice, I see an air sign. So this could be you. I mean, it's supposed to be Libra, but, you know, I'll get what I can. <laughs> um, talks about equality and right and truth. But see here, this says, stop seeking the truth. So I think that's what you were looking for about a past betrayal or a past hurt. It says you have to be objective. Just be brutally honest with yourself because you're going to be victorious. Use your logic, though, um, and in conjunction with your emotions and your intuition. Um, you might become a new person. And just think about permanent consequences as opposed to um, fleeting consequences. Like this might be saying, you know, don't have an affair because that's a permanent consequence to a relationship and it takes a lot to heal that. But it, it is time for a decision whether or not um, you want to continue. It could be that you settled because you just didn't know your worth. You don't really, it says you don't really know yourself. So you go and you get to know yourself, but the card suggested. But then you just, you just stay there. <laughs> um, and you need to get out after a while. Like, don't be alone forever. If you, like, have a separation, it's not, doesn't need to be for a long time. Also, um, 
thinking justice when you have the world. That's got to be something. Yeah, okay. So when you have justice and the world, I mean, you have the world twice. So everything's going to work out in your favor. Okay, that's just what that means when you have those together. And it's obviously true. Um, just like you're going to have a release of some powerful energy. Like you might release paranoia. You may release hurt. You may release betrayals. Um, and you're going to celebrate again. This three of cups could represent a betrayal, so you may just release this. Like, What are you releasing? The ten of swords, the moon, and the three of cups. You could be releasing a lot of stuff. And everything's just going to go in your favor now. 